introduce this time. Intro. Professor and know it all. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the professor and the know it all. And uh, we are trying. Yes, we are the channel where you. Ah, you drink beer with us, yes, and you listen to music. And uh, a, a big professor thing is we bookend it. Yes, bookend it with over. beer. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, beer, video, beer, beer, and we'll give you a review on both. Yes, yes. And uh, the beer we're gonna have today is uh, we always try out local breweries, right? This one's from Charlotte, North Carolina. It's Triple C. Brewing company, and I've actually been to their brewing location. It's awesome, actually. Yeah. These these guys, we actually just went to a beer tasting of theirs at Queen City Craft and Gourmet. Just did a great beer tasting over there, which I'm kind of cheating because I've already had this beer, but it's completely new to the professor, and it's a new so, day. Yep. And Tomorrow is another day. Yes, and I need to drink some water so I can close my phone. Okay, so the getting back to this, this is uh, Oktoberfest beer, and uh, what else do I say about it? 5.5% alcohol. It's a lager. Yes. Pretty so straightforward, very straightforward as far as um, a a good German lager. That's what this is going hey, for. Don't, don't ruin the surprise now. Mm, oh, look at that color, though. Holy nice. Jesus. Well, yes, he is. That definitely is beer porn, guys. Just just letting you know. Look at that. Look at that good, good aggressive pour. Very thick head on it. No, don't. <laughs> so, uh, kind of pillowy. Uh, very, um, it's definitely not like you would get t on a typical lager. Usually lagers are a little bit more effervescent, a little lighter. Yes. Um, so it gives you a little bit heavier feel on top. Um, in our last video, the word of the day was juxtaposition. And today it is effervescence. Effervescence. Yes. You can always sound sophisticated oh. and intelligent if you use The juxtaposition of effervescence oh. is phenomenal. The effervescence, oh. along with the thick head. <laughs> <laughs> It's so hard to fight that. Sorry. Very that's, light. That's pretty good. Not a very heavy aroma to it. Um, get a little caramel in it. Yeah. Right? A little bit of, yeah, a touch of caramel. Um, I almost want to say it's pumpkin-y, but I think that's only because of the color. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, it's making you think something. It looks like yeah. a pumpkin. It looks like a fucking pumpkin, man. So, so yeah, we I just did this at a beer, uh, a pairing at Queen City, and they, uh, and oh my god, I'm sorry guys if I forget the uh, chef's name, I apologize, but the next two or three, I'll remember you, I guarantee. Um, but chef there is phenomenal, and he paired this with a confit quail. And we did a butternut squash puree and a grain. And I can't not remember what it is. Forgive me, I'm a beer guy, not a food guy too much. But anyway, so, but the way it worked together was kind of stupid. And it had like a slight maple glaze on the confit Sounds quail. Good. So with this, the little caramel notes this is nice. was awesome. So mm. one thing we forgot to mention. Oh, yes. Is that after this beer talk, yep, which is about to end for now, yep, we're gonna watch a video and it's called it's a band I've never heard of. They're called That's same here, yeah, the gloom in the corner, which kind of reminds me of uh, what's that band? It sounds gothic y, right? Yeah, it does. like very gloom and doom, yes, gloom in the corner. Yeah, that's what I think. You picture of. someone stuck in cobwebs in the corner. um, like Depeche Mode is having babies with typo negative. There you go. That sounds about right, right? Yeah. Okay, and sorry. this video is called Misanthropic. All right, Professor, explain to us, what is misanthropic? A misanthrope is someone who dislikes 
nay, perhaps hates and detests <laughs> humans. Just people in general. And if you're a human and you're a misanthrope, hmm. you kind of hate yourself if you think about it. You're a self-hating homo sapien. There you go. Oh, okay. So, all right. for all you things. people out there who didn't know what the hell this freaking meant, even though you may be a Gloom in the Corner fan, which, uh, to tell you the truth, I don't know if there's a bunch out there or none at all, but it looked anything. interesting and I like the freaking name. So, that's where we're going with it. So, um, let's see what these guys or girls or who the hell, the hell they are uh, have to offer. Because, uh, to tell you the truth, I haven't seen a picture, haven't done anything. It just popped up on my feed and I was like, well, why the hell not? Why not? Like, sure. So, let's do it. All right. Let's not poop in our pants. Oh, I don't have any. That's the beginning? I don't freaking know. I didn't have my freaking earbuds I mean, on. That came out blazing. Really? Oh, yeah. Okay, so I didn't hear my earbuds on because I had to go and get <laughs> the beer. And so I heard none of that. You ready okay. for this? Yep, I'm ready. Yeah. Let's go. What the fucking balls? Jesus Crispy. Dude, this is straight up the point. Okay, so... Holy balls! That just came out of the gate. Freaking punching you in the teeth, nuts, yeah. everything else. I like it. Um, wow. That's my first reaction. This it is not what I expected it to be. The, the crazy homicidal preacher guy in there. Yeah. It's exactly like the guy, the lead singer of Ghost. <laughs> but <Right>? but <laughs> he personifies the sound yeah. there. Yeah, you know, it's like it's one of those things that you... The guy from Ghost, at least in the video that we've seen so far, does not personify or does not sound like. He doesn't the, sound like the way he looks. The way he looks. Yeah. So yeah. Anyway, so let's continue with these guys because holy shit balls. <laughs> Okay, all right, so so they got they got like skater punk <sighs> mixed with Rage Against the Machine mixed with all right, guys, some so, metal band you will know that I don't. So all right, so here's what this is. I right, uh, like. And I, I'm not saying grew up in, but when I had my band, I'm not going to tell you who it is because I don't care anymore. It's like one of those things that's kind of gone and dead in my life. Not that I didn't have fun fucking doing it. But it is, this is the New York hardcore sound oh, yeah. um, that has given rise to some different textures. Um a lot of the groups that I used to actually used to do a little booking as far as groups in um, in the in the New York tri-state area. So this kind of pulls in like that Evergreen Terrace, um, the Mad Ball crowd, uh, everything that was all of that hardcore sound into one area. I mean, it, it is really good. You get that deathcore, you get the hardcore, you get. 
a little bit of the metal core, uh, especially in that new, that little bit of sound like you're hearing in the back side. It's like, bam, 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 like that jazzy. What's the best way to put it? Um, a lot of metal bands, you know, were fans of other types of music, and we like to pull in those jazz chords and blues chords and stuff like that whenever we can. So it's um, freaking phenomenal so far. All what right, let's hit it. All right. Uh, Schwinkter. No one talks, not even chase us high. Just because he never got to kiss his lover goodbye. Just because also one that kicked out her chair. It was funny watching her dangle though. Gasping for air while this whole shit show's ruled by an iron fist. I'm not surprised that dick made a hit. Smoky Street Concrete. Sound down to me. But much better. So is it hard not to have stank face? I mean, you're usually a, a closed book. Is it hard not to have stank face? Because I can't help having stank face. You know what I'm talking about, right? You know no, what stank I know what stank face is? Alright, so, you ever see a person listen to metal and they all of a sudden they go, Yeah. Okay. Do that thing? Yeah. Stank face in it. It's hard not to. It's it, one of those true. things. It has one of the, it has that little bit of hip hop to it. Yeah. Again, I still lean to uh, E Town and those groups from Brooklyn and Queens, okay. uh, New York. That's where this came from. And anybody freaking says anything else, they're full of shit. All of them came from New York. Um, and it bled out from there. Um, they made, they, they actually paved the way for a lot of these groups to be able to do what they're doing. So, yes, loving it. Um, any feedback so far? I, I almost felt an Eminem vibe. <laughs> it, 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 it is. It's like that hip-hop, hardcore vibe. Right. It's like that inner-city, angsty, white kid. And not just white kid. There's... It, when I say that, I don't mean it's... It's the people that kind of understood urban life. Um, doesn't matter your color. Um, but it was those kids that love metal or love that sound and then took that urban feel and heart and everything they wanted to be and put it all together. Right. All Hopefully right. Hopefully that didn't sound too pretentious, but yeah. yeah. So, all right. Well, save me now, don't you know? Rage case! Comes another kill! Shit, I'm like a little. I don't. Um, hmm. All right, so let me think of the words I want to put into this. Like, I, I gave you a little dissertation in the middle there about what I thought and where I think I think it comes from. 
yeah, that may be where it came from, but you know, there are other places that it could be a part of. You know what I mean? Yeah, um, that it, it is of one of those there. things that this is, and I and I like that that phrase that he came up with. I'm not psychopathic. I just give a fuck what you say. Right. Is kind of like what everything is right now. <laughs> It's awful. Um, and I don't know when this came out or when this video came out. Um, look like fairly young guys. Um, yeah. But I'm thinking if this came out of more than 10 years ago, no freaking clue, um, then I think it's I'd be surprised. fortuitous um, and very kind of like almost. I'm going to look that up. Wow. Um Kind of got me in a way that I didn't expect to get me. Yeah, that's the, there aren't many videos that do that. The vocal, the music, everything. It reminded me of being twenty four again in my, in my bed, and loved every second of it. Um, you're still looking up. You're looking. Yeah, I'm uh, looking. Up to see what came out. Twenty nineteen. Twenty nineteen. So not too old. I'm not surprised. So it, it, it had a lot of different sounds. Smelled it. It it actually pulled in a lot of the stuff that I just can't. I, I can't believe that it's still around in that raw of a form, mm -hmm. right? And I hope these guys are getting the exposure they need. If not, you guys let us know. Now we'll you help know. you however we can. And you guys listen to these guys. Anybody who has not been listening to them, I don't know if you got the lyrics. You gotta listen to them. Phenomenal. So, uh, anyway, let's get back to our beer. All right. So we got Triple C's Oktoberfest. Yep, and in a Queen City Craft and Gourmet glass. Um, <laughs> you you really sell it. Oh yeah, yeah. You like you have to caress it. Yeah, and do the very it. white voice. Too. Mm, yeah, baby. All right. So anyway, um, all right. So I. In Charlotte, Charlotte, North Carolina, there is a juggernaut called OMB for German beers. Right. Um, and Mechtoberfest is the most, I would say, well-rounded version of an October beer that I've ever had. And I've yeah. had tons of them. It is one of my, it is probably one of my top beers, especially when it rolls down to fall, Oktoberfest time. Yeah. I'm going to OMB and I'm getting a Mechtoberfest. Triple C is nipping at their heels. This is a very well-rounded... Uh, it, it, and there's a... It's not unctuous. So that's a wrong word for it. It's just very... Lovable. I suppose if I can put lovable. it. It's, it is one of those beers that it gives you that little caramel hint... Uh, the malt that you love, the roasted malt flavor, it's, it's very easy to drink. It doesn't give you a heavy aftertaste. It's just it's a likable beer. It's, it's a likable yeah. beer. It's definitely a lager. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's what you hoped most lagers would be. Yeah. Um, and it's a good beer. I can see why I it's like their it. Oktoberfest. I mean, mm -hmm. this is a good beer for, again, again Sitting around the fire pit, it is. It's it's hanging out with friends at a at a bench table, a picnic table, a bench and, table. And, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's one of those uh, type of beers that you would enjoy drinking with friends. And this is the type of beer that we need to all be trending toward right now. IPAs are great, but for this period They've of time, especially, day. it this is a touch of sweet. But it's so well done. I mean, it's really hard to explain it. I could sit here and be as obnoxious and pretentious as possible. Oh, as you're doing far a good job. Flavor. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, can you pull the stick out of my ass? Here, please. Oh, sorry. Um, but anyway, my hands are it's, busy. <laughs> it's a great beer. Um, Mechtober Fest. You got you guys have got guys. It's not Mechtoberfest. I know it's not. The, you have you're nipping at your heels. This is Oktoberfest from Triple C. <laughs> All right, so guys, great job, and hey, okay, we'll rate, it, rate more. It. Oh, it's a four all day long. I give it a four too. Solid yeah. four. Solid four. What about great the job. gloom in the corner? Ooh, 
Damn. All right, so we usually, we usually one out of five do one out of five. Uh, it's a high four. Like, I, I can't rate four point whatever. We're not doing that. So it's right. one, two, three, four, five. Four, but it's so damn close to a five. I give it a low four. Okay. Just well, you're because, not that type of guy. Right. So. That's not, but, it, like, I'm not into the type of metal that you are. Right? Oh, or, definitely not. But I appreciate what they did. Like, I like music that blends genres. And make and I don't like a song to sound the same all the way through. Mm-hmm. Like it just well, that's the reason why you're a Frank Black fan and right, Sonic Youth and all those guys. Yeah, uh, loud, quiet, loud. Yeah, that, that like. formula. So this had that. Yeah. So oh, it definitely for that reason I appreciate it and I will give it a four. I will say right now, um, if you had a six foot tall woman come up to you and kick you in the nuts and knock your testicles back up in you, that's this beer, really, and that song, and it, the best way possible, freaking phenomenal. Loved it. This is one of the best shows I think we've had as far as a combination between the two things. Sure, I sign awesome. up for that every day. Guys, cheers! Go uh, get the Triple C Oktoberfest. It's great. Queen City, Queens Crafting Gourmet. Yeah. Reach out to those guys and check out Gloom in the Corner. I don't care what song, but if they're even Freaking close to misanthropic. It would be good. Yeah, we need to listen to another one. Awesome. See you guys soon.